Hello! So today I thought I will show you how you can correct your skin tone in the Lightroom app, whether it's because you don't like the effect of your skin once you apply the preset, or if you just want to edit from the scratch and know how to regulate your skin tone and correct to brighten or tan your skin, or just regulate the flush you could have or the redness on your skin, I'm going to show you how you do it. So I'm going to first apply a preset and I'm going to show you one where I like the look in general of the photo, but my skin tone looks a bit off with the preset on. It looks a bit gray. It doesn't look natural. I like the general color of this photo and this edit, but it doesn't suit my skin tone. So I'm going to validate the preset and I'm going to correct that skin tone. Okay. So I'm going to zoom up on myself. And I'm going to show you the first tool I'm going to use is the light tool, this one. Okay. And in this light tool, there's general settings that I can switch to correct my skin tone. All right. The first one is exposure. If you start off with a photo that is overly bright or too dark, it's going to affect your skin tone. So you need to either regulate. So let's say my photo would be really bright like this. I should lower it down. And if it's too dark, I could bring it up. Okay. Now I like the general exposure of this photo, so I'm not going to change it. The second setting that can affect your skin tone is the contrast. If there's too much contrast on your face or not enough contrast on your face, that can turn weird. So you want to adjust this one as well. Highlights are really important. If you have too much highlights on a photo, you're going to look really pale. And sometimes you need to add a bit highlight for the photo not to look a bit too dark like this. So you want to set the highlights in a way that it looks natural. Okay. Shadows are also a big, a big deal. It's the opposite of highlights. It has to do with the dark tones on the photo. If you have too much shadows on your photo, you're not going to see yourself. And if you remove them all, it can look weird. You need to have a bit of shadow on your face for it to look natural. Okay. But you can also lift it up a little bit so that it doesn't look too dark on your face. Next is the whites. If your photo has too much white or not enough white, you will see the difference. And then black tones. If they are too dark or if they're lifted up too much, it can look weird as well on your skin tone. Okay. So these are the first thing you want to check is the lighting. Okay. Is the general appearance of the lighting on your photo look good or not? Now that we set that up, you are going to change the color. Okay. So I'm using the color tool. And in this tool, I have four main options, which is the temperature, the tint, the vibrance, and the saturation. Temperature is, is my color too yellow or too cold, too warm, too cold. Okay. I can set that up for something nice. Is my photo or my skin looking too pink or too green? I can also correct it. Now the difference between saturation and vibrance is that saturation is going to boost all the colors at once. Vibrance is going to select a few colors to boost and leave some others behind while saturation just boosts them all at the same tone. Okay. So you want to check with the vibrance and saturation on your skin tone that the preset did not remove too much of saturation. Because if you look overly gray like this, it's because the vibrance was turned off. So you can bring that up a little bit. Okay. Same for saturation. But in that case, I like this edit with less saturation. All right. Now that I've set up the basic color tools, I am going to show you the trick that you need to know about skin tone correction. And it's the mixing tool up there with the colors. Now what it does is that it allows you to select the colors you want and make variation only on this color in the picture. You need to know that for Lightroom, your skin tone is registered as orange and sometimes with a bit of red and very rarely a bit of yellow. For skin tone, that's the only colors you want to play with. You always want to start with orange because this is the massive color you have to regulate on your photo. Okay. So first of all, the U allows you to shift the orange to the yellow side, which makes me look greenish or to the red side, which makes me look pinkish. So if you look too pinkish on your photo or if you look green, 
you want to adjust the hue so that you have a natural looking skin tone, okay? Saturation will bring up this color. So in my case, orange will be up if I do it too much. So I wanna regulate something that is natural, something that looks like my skin tone and that I like, and that would probably be this one, okay? Now luminance is going to brighten up or darken the orange tone. If I lift it up, I'm gonna look really pale if I lift it down, I'm going to look chocolate, okay? What you want to do is to find the correct color of your skin tone and what you like. Some people like to look with a bright light skin. Some people like to look tan on their photos. This is the tool you want to play with to have the perfect skin tone you want to have on your photo, okay? So I like an in-between like this. I think it looks great. I want to set up the reds as well. Like if I turn the red to the orange side, look at my hat, it's turning completely orange. If I turn it to the red side, it's gonna be really, really like bright red. I want something in the middle. I don't want it to be too red or too orange. I'm gonna boost a little bit of the saturation of the red because I like it. And for the luminance, I am going to look what looks best for me. So I think it looks a bit better with a luminance a bit darker on my skin tone, okay? Now, if you have flushness on your skin tone and you don't like, or acne scores when you have a portrait and you don't want to have this color, this is the tool you wanna use. It's the red and the luminance of the red. Now, the red luminance affects the lips a lot on your face and you don't wanna overdo it because otherwise, your lips will just totally disappear in the photo and will not look natural. So you want to adjust that a little bit so that your skin tone looks best. And if you want to have a blush effect on your cheeks, this is what you want to regulate down. Now at this point, I think that my skin tone looks more natural. I quite like it. I still have this look that I like and I'm going to compare it with what we started with. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in so that you can see the difference. This is the edit we just corrected and that was the original preset, okay? So it was grayish and now corrected, it's more alive. And this is how you adjust the skin tone in Lightroom and I hope that was helpful.